Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink. Welcome back to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Um, this is the legendary version, by the way. <laughs> I do have all of the DLC preloaded onto this game, but uh, we won't really be doing anything DLC related for quite a while, I don't think. I don't really know too much about the DLC, so yeah, probably won't do much with that. That building over there, funnily enough, um, things happen there. It has something to do with wolves, I think. I don't know, something like that. Hello there. Looking to do some hunting? Avoid Brittleshin Pass. It's southeast of here. Well, that's not really a, um... That's not very informative of you. Looking to do some hunting, and then he tells me to avoid a place. I'm guessing he's trying to say that it's quite, uh... It might be a little bit too much for me to handle, which, you know, that's definitely a possibility. I'm not that high of a level at this point. I'm, what, like, level 3 or something? Can I see general stats? Can't see my own level... In general stats, how great is that? Uh, I am indeed level 3. Kind of... Getting on my way to being halfway through level 3. Anyway, come on. There we go. Open... No, open Dragon's Reach. There we go. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so this is our destination. We are currently... Trying to inform the Jarl of Whiterun about the dragon attack in... In Helgen, I suppose. And also the risk it poses to the, well, their general area. I mean, there's a dragon flying around, and it's pissed off, like, big time. So, yeah, it pretty much destroyed Helgen, so, yeah. Whoop, oh, sorry, no, 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 it's okay. My lord, please. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. This is a very important thing that's happening right now. Well, of course she's not going to know Gerda, anyway. Why the guards let you in? Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Oh, so <laughs> she changed her tone pretty quickly. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. Uh, probably not a good idea to tell them that the Imperials were trying to kill me, but uh. Uh, maybe. Did I see it heading this way? I don't really know. I can't even remember. Anyway, um... I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? Probably not. My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is correct. You assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irrelevant. Send it to I like how he sits in that chair. I mean, he's going to get back problems in later life, seriously. If you sit like that, that is terrible posture. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. Actually, no, I was told to by someone else. Wasn't on my own initiative. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Thank you. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. You noticed just then it said Bleak Falls Barrow started? We've already completed that. <laughs> He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. Well, it's more than a rumor at this point. I saw a damn thing just destroy a village. Hi there, mate. What's that sound? Is that a person outside in my? Or is that? Hold on. Is that the game or is that me? What's? Sounds like a little kid talking, what? Anyway, sorry. I was a bit confused there for a moment, I didn't know what was going on. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be... Already went there, and it is there. Um... What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. 
perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many... I don't really want to sit here and listen to this guy's monologue because I have read it before, but, you know, I kind of do want to... I want to take this seriously, this game. I am prepared to invest some serious time into this thing, so I want to do it right, you know. The reason why I don't like all this monologuing is because I feel like I don't want to talk over him, but I don't want to stay silent as well because you guys might not be interested in what he has to say, so therefore you've got no choice but to sit here and watch him talk while I'm silent, so that may very well not be something you want to deal with, which is why I don't really like the beginning portion of the game in general, but anyway. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakvog Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet... I love his reaction when he realises we already have it. It is quite funny. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. I'm not going to ask for a reward, that might be a bit much. That is where your job ends and mine begins. I would like a reward, but anyway. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. If I already had the thing, then yeah, I mean... Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the oh wait, she's talking to him. Like the rest of the great warriors. Remember, she wants to talk to him. Arangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Yes, I should. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'm killing people? Would you be excited if it were killing people, Mr. Farangar, man? Bloody asshole. We're wearing pretty much the same stuff now that I think about it. Look at us. We're like twins. Jeez. Poor Farangar, like, just ran into someone there. But yeah, we're literally wearing the same thing. This is funny. About the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. I like this Yarl. He's a good guy. Better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no <laughs> time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want yes, you do. You owe me a lot of damn things, mate. Dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Don't know what he gives us. What does he give us? He gave us something. Braces of minor wielding. I can't afford to risk both of you. Need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Poor Farangar. As you command. One last he probably wants to cry now. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. So basically, at this point in time, we need to actually follow, follow, follow Irileth to the watchtower that has been attacked. Yeah, thanks, mate. What do you want? I'll see you with the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. Very well. You two seem to be having a little bit of a tough time getting past one another. Anyway. Yeah, not really, I mean. Okay, so now at this point, Irileth, now I will... Before I talk about what Irileth is doing, um, I'm going to have a look and see what we've acquired here. Just in general, like, across the board. Did we not get a weapon from the Arl? I thought we did. I mean, I know that we got braces, but I think the first reward that he gave us was a weapon of sorts. I must be wrong. Uh, okay. 
We'll have a look at um, apparel for the arms that we just got, or the braces, whatever. It's light armor. One-handed attacks do 15% more damage. I think I will equip these because I think their defense is... It's one point less, but it has quite a lot of... Uh, it does a lot for us, basically. I mean, 15% isn't that good, but compared to nothing, it's a lot. So, yeah, I don't really know if I want to keep these blue mage robes. I'm not too sure about them, but uh, it's just because my defense is really not that good at the moment. But anyway, generally what I do with Irileth here, because we do need to get to the watchtower where the dragon is attacking, along with her, we pretty much know where we need to go, but she's bloody slow, basically. So what I do is I go to the watchtower and then I wait for like an hour, and then she comes, and then pretty much the quest starts, the quest to fight the dragon. The dragon will not arrive until she does, so yeah. It's just how the quest works, you know. So yeah, I mean, like I said, pick someone's pocket while, you know, while sneaking, but the problem with pickpocketing is that you really do require the sneak ability as well, so yeah, pretty much the best way to level up your sneak, honestly, is to kill people while you're sneaking, so therefore archery is quite good in this way. So yeah, I mean, I should honestly make use of that, but anyway, because sneak is really important, I will mention. Now, there is a forgery just here, which we will use later on, but not quite yet. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Ha, <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Oh, wow. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. And then they go their separate ways. See, this is the nice thing about Skyrim. Oftentimes you just... <laughs> and I like how it says White Run Discovered. This is because I went in the back way by getting arrested and I got chucked in jail. But anyway, <laughs> if you didn't see the previous video, then yeah, that's kind of how I got to White Run. I didn't come through the front door or the front gate, however you want to refer to it. I got arrested because I started attacking the Thalmor. And yeah, bad things happened, basically. I did manage to kill one of them and then the others just kind of, you know... I almost died in the process, but they disappeared. I did manage to kill one of them, and I got their armor, I think, but I didn't really want to wear it. I think I might still have that armor. Let's have a look and see. I think I have it. Maybe. Or not. I guess I didn't pick it up. Alright. Anyway, um, this watchtower over here is where we want to go. It does actually say... It shows a marking over there. Okay, see how the marking just changed? That means that Irileth just came out. So, she's no longer inside Whiterun. She's now out in the open. And then the other marker here kind of shows us where we want to be heading for along with er Irileth. But we don't really want to follow her. She's, like I said, quite slow. So it's much easier to just come here and then wait. I don't know exactly where we need to stand. Ah, uh, well, now I do know exactly where we need to stand. Okay, so at this point here, I'm going to wait just for one hour. That will do. And then she will be here along with everyone else. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around... Somewhere... You don't have much of a battalion there. Oh. Have we already decided that it's here? <laughs> I don't know how strong my fire is going to be against this guy, but it's going to be able to... I'm going to be able to get my destruction up quite a bit. Also, my next priority in regards to magic is to get the heal spell. So, I'm going to try and do that soon. Nice. What's over here? It's telling me that I need to go inside the watchtower. Oh god, here we go. It's time for the confrontation. I would be shitting myself, to be honest. So basically, the good thing about magic is that we will be able to hit this thing when it's kind of flying above us. When you're using, a, like, a physical weapon, you do kind of have to wait for him to actually land before you can hit him. This is Mirmanir. He's kind of a crazy... What the hell are you doing? Oh, you can cast magic, I didn't know. 
Uh, where are you? Bloody Mirmanir. Mirmanir. So I'm just going to cast my magic and do as much damage as I can. I don't think my magic does too much damage to you, but uh, yeah. We'll kill you eventually. I might actually use sparks. I have a feeling that's going to be more effective against this guy. So let's go to destruction. And left and right hand sparks. Yeah, so I have to let my magic regenerate here. And fortunately, because we do have these robes, it should... My magic should regenerate a little bit faster, but, you know. So this is the first dragon that we actually fight, and uh, I will mention that... Oh, Jesus. We will see... Oh, Jesus, mate, you just had a rough ride. I'm going to go and steal your stuff now. <laughs> do excuse me. Uh, White Run Guard Shield. We literally just saw this thing in the loading screen, I think. I'll take your steel arrows. Hunting bow. No, I don't need that. I have a good bow, I think. White Run Guard's armor. I might take that. Leather helmet. Yeah, sure. That's about all from me. Well, that's about all I'm going to do, anyway. I say all from me as if I'm, like, you know, abusing the guy, but I'm not. Why did you land all the way over there? I'm a bit worried about you. Oh, my gosh. Come on. There we go. That's doing more damage, definitely. It's no surprise that fire doesn't do much damage to this guy. Oh, ouch, that hurts. I don't have any ability to heal, I will mention. I literally do not have the ability to heal. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm burning. But fortunately, someone else killed the damn dragon. Sorry, mate. Anyway, um... I think now that the dragon's dead, something's going to happen, but I'm going to search this guy first and foremost. The annoying thing about dragon bones and dragon scales is that they really do weigh you down a lot. So I'm hoping that I can pick these up without being overburdened. It seems that I can do that, which is a good thing. So this dragon, as he burns up, is going to transfer something to me. You must be a dragonborn! <laughs> yes, well... Dragon Soul Absorbed. Use the Shout section of the Magic Menu to equip your Unrelenting Force Shout. So, the Word of Power that we actually learned in Bleak Falls Barrow did, in fact, not actually allow us to use a Shout. I didn't really explain this properly before, but yeah. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. That's correct. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I would imagine so. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Alright, so what we actually need to do here is go to magic. But I will mention that powers are not re really... Oh, sorry. Um, What's this? Highborn. Regenerate magic faster for 60 seconds. What the... F oh. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> I should have equipped that from the beginning. Highborn is something that comes with um, being a high elf, I would imagine. So yeah, anyway. Unrelenting Force, we do want to equip. Now, I think to use this, we... Okay, RB, cool. I don't know who Tiber Septim is. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. God, she's such a bitch. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, House Tom. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. 
must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. That's right. In your presence now is a Dragonborn. Something that previously was mere legend. Same with this guy here. That's a dragon skeleton. <laughs> Something that previously was mere legend. So yeah, lots of legends going on, going around here. Going on around here, anyway. I'll try to say the sentence a few more times, shall I? Anyway, so I'm just going to check inside the watchtower, see if anything else is hanging around here. I don't think there is. There might be something to pick up. I'm not too sure. This looks eerily similar to that frickin... Anyway. Like at the beginning of the game, remember? When we were in that tower in Helgen and... Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd mention that. Damn it, no. Didn't mean to fall. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm on. So I'm astounded that I actually didn't get to level up or anything there. I guess killing enemies doesn't necessarily level you up, which is a good thing to mention, I suppose. If I fell down there, I would probably die, so I would rather not do that. I'm not too sure how falling damage works in this game. I don't know how much damage it does do. Probably a lot. I'd imagine that that would kill me, though. I wouldn't be too surprised. Um, You, you are having a bad time, mate. <laughs> anyway. Well, you've had a bad time, I should say. We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run. Didn't we? Yes, we did. Anyway, um, now what we're going to do is return to Jarl Balgruf, which is pretty obvious, you know. We've just killed a dragon, so who are we going to tell first? Probably the Jarl that sent us on the mission, because then, of course, we will receive a reward.